this thing with Apple and the Department of Justice, the FBI, the San Bernardino shooters, who shall not be named, uh, at least one of them had an iPhone, an Apple iPhone. And when Apple rolled out, I think it was the iPhone 6, it might have been the 5, but it was one of the, it was the 6? Yeah, Shane is pretty sure it was too. Um, when they rolled out the 6, they encrypted it, basically. And they said, you know, because there, I, if, actually there was, a, there was a growing market for encrypted phones. And, you know, they're, they're, there's a company that sells one that's $800,000, $900,000, something like that. You know, was, I think it was called the black phone because you, you just can't break it. You know, it's, 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 you can't hack into it. It's a high, highly secure phone. And, you know, people want that. Increasingly, people are like sick and tired of having, you know, having uh, thinking or even feeling like they have to look over their shoulder, whether it's Big Brother government or Big Brother Apple. And would like to have some sense of privacy and security. And so they've got this guy's iPhone. And Apple has encrypted these phones. And the FBI is saying, open this phone. And Apple's saying, we can't do it. Or at least Apple was saying that. They've, they've been saying for a long, long time, we can't do it. You know, these phones are not openable. They are secure. Your stuff is safe. And now the FBI is saying, open this phone for us. And Apple's going, can't do it or originally. And now Apple is saying, well, we could reverse engineer essentially our own encryption and come up with a key that would open this phone. Now, here's the, here is the giant asterisk at the end of that sentence, the, 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 the footnote that should be the headline. Once that key has been created by Apple to open the phone of the San Bernardino shooters, that key can be used to open any iPhone. In other words, iPhones are no longer secure. Now, I have kind of a love-hate relationship with Apple. <laughs> I got an iPhone 6, and it had a, a, a flaky power connection on the bottom, right? And it... it uh, for over a period, and it was just getting worse and worse and worse over a period of maybe, uh, well, over the last year, actually. I got it a year ago. And it, it, I remember maybe six months ago, it no longer charged when I set it on the, uh, I got one of those iHome radios, you know, that uh, it's a little clock radio that sits next to your bed and, you, and it's got a charger on the top of it. I'd set my phone on it and, and it stopped charging. And so I thought, okay, it must be that this iHome radio, which I'd had, you know, uh, for a year, is no longer compatible with a new operating system because it seemed to start charging after there was a, an upgrade to the Apple operating system. So I bought a new, a new clock radio, <laughs> another 40 bucks, and it still wouldn't charge my phone. But I, found, but I discovered that if I flipped my phone around backwards and stuck it in, it would charge. So I kept doing it, and then that stopped working. But if I had an external cord, that would work. And so I thought, maybe it's, not, it's just not an Apple product. And finally, uh, about two weeks ago, it just stopped charging altogether, period. So I took it to Apple. I made an appointment at the Apple store, took it in, and they said, oh, your, your one-year warranty expired a week ago. Honest to God, I'm not making this up. Expired a week ago. So you're going to have to buy a new phone. I said, you can't just replace the power adapter? The little, little, Nope, nope, sorry, it's all one thing. So I bought a new phone. I thought I was buying a new phone, but it came in a box that didn't have all the new phone stuff, right? It was just this little box with a barcode on it. And now, you know, at this point in the day, I'll take a look right now. Yeah, at this point in the day, normally, well, by the end of the day, I would normally still have 60, 70% charge on my phone. Now I'm down to 55%. So I'm guessing that what they're doing is they're, and they charge me, by the way, 300 bucks for the new phone, is that they're giving out refurbished phones and i've got somebody else's refurbished phone that probably had a cracked screen or something and that person had not been friendly to their battery because now i've got a brand new iphone that has a crummy battery so like i said i have this love-hate relationship with apple that said i i think that the position that they've been taking up to this point has been a very noble position of no we're not going to unlock this phone and i think that the that our government that the fbi is using you know, it's, it's like the cases that go to the Supreme Court. They, you know, they work so hard to find the perfect plaintiff, right? The, the, the perfect case. Who would ever want to deny this poor person, this, this important, you know, thing, whatever it may be. 
And then they take that to the Supreme Court and all that kind of thing. I, I think they're doing the same thing with, uh, you know, the FBI is doing the same thing with trying to do away with encryption of iPhones. And they're trying to get public support behind them by saying, we need this because the San Bernardino shooters. Well, we know who they are. We know largely what they did. Oh, oh the question is, were they talking to ISIS? Only their iPhones know. Well, I don't think that's true. I mean, you can go, if, you're, if, if they were talking to ISIS on, uh, in email, you can go to their email, sir. I mean, you subpoena Google or Apple or whoever, yeah, but that, that's not secure. I mean, that can be subpoenaed, right? And if it was their web traffic or their web activity, there's probably, there's got to be fingerprints all over the place. So it looks to me like this is the, the, the kind of deep state at work. We will not have secure phones in this country. Really? To watch more clips from our programs, hit the Watch More Videos button over here. And please be sure to hit the handy-dandy subscribe button so you'll always be up to date. Tag, you're it.